welcome to Camera Collection. Today I'm looking at the Argus C3. So this camera's been in the collection for, well, before I was born. It actually belonged to my grandfather. He was an avid photographer of documenting the family, so vacations and birthdays and you name it. I inherited the camera at some point. Um, its accessories long gone. Its focus wheel missing. The Argus C3 is nicknamed the brick because that's what it is. Um, it weighs more than a brick, I think. It has a decent 50 millimeter lens on it, uh, f3.5, so not exactly the fastest lens that you'll find. The rangefinder focus actually did work, uh, so that was great. The shutter speeds are a little bit confusing, um, and I think maybe part of the reason that my grandfather stopped using this camera at some point. Growing up, I pretty much saw my grandfather with a Canon AE-1, which is one of the first cameras that I also bought. This camera probably took many of the photographs that I saw of my mother's childhood and uh, vacations that they took back in the 50s and 60s. The camera design itself is pre-war, so late 30s, um, and they made millions of these things. And so clearly everybody's got one of these in their closet, perhaps, or maybe they've junked it at some point. Uh, you're not going to fetch a very good price for it on eBay, um, so you might be able to pick one up if you wanted to experiment a little bit. It's got some quirks, like how it uh, counts the number of frames back, um, and also I remember trying to get this door open the first time that I used it, and it was as simple as pressing in and kind of prying the door open. So, really utilitarian, but um, also quite functional. Check out the Argus C3. Here's some of the images that I made with it. 